Hello, my name is Brian Schoff, and I'd like to talk to you today about raising the minimum wage in the United States. As it is my belief that raising the minimum wage would have a profound impact in benefiting today's U.S. economy and way of life. There's been a lot of talk in Washington, D.C. to raise the national minimum wage for U.S. workers. President Barack Obama called on Congress to raise the minimum wage from $7.25 to $10.10 per hour during the 2014 State of the Union Address. In lieu of that, Iowa Senator Tom Harkin has put legislation into action to push for a minimum wage increase. It has become such a talking point that several recent minimum wage documentaries have been released. The 2005 TV documentary, 30 Days Minimum Wage, by Morgan Spurlock, asks the question, can a wealthy person get by on minimum wage for 30 days? An HBO documentary, Pay Paycheck to Paycheck, by Maria Shriver, shows the everyday struggle a single mother endures, living and providing for her family on a minimum wage income. Also, the 2013 Sundance Film Festival standout, Inequality for All, by former U.S. Secretary of Labor under President Bill Clinton, Robert Reich, discusses the minimum wage increase in, is necessary for our U.S. economy's survival. According to several sources, raising the U.S. minimum wage will not only stimulate the economy, but would create jobs. Today I will explain how minimum wage became so out of touch with being a livable wage. I will debunk some of the myths against minimum wage increase and let you in on how raising the minimum wage will benefit our U.S. economy. So let's first talk about why are we even in this situation? Well, minimum wage was born in the, in the U.S. in 1938 when the Fair Labor Standards Act was voted into law under President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Along with many other employee rights, workers were promised a 25 cent an hour minimum wage when the Fair Labor Standards Act was passed into federal law. Some progressive states have opted to set their own minimum wage standard, but legally cannot be less than that of the federal standard. Minimum wage progressively rose with production, cost of living, and profit increases until the 1970s. Keep in mind, in 1968, the minimum wage held its highest buying power in history at $1.60 an hour. Starting in the 1970s, the U.S. saw a huge jump in production. This led to record profits for many companies and higher cost of living for most. For the first time in history, minimum wage did not increase with profits and production in the American manufacturing sector. The trend of record profits, production, and cost of living increase has continued through today without corresponding levels of minimum wage increase. According to the Center of Economic and Policy Research, had minimum wage mirrored the production and profits of today's manufacturing sector, minimum wage today would be $21.72 an hour. What this shows is wages are very out of touch with what they should be we as workers are producing more product and more profits, yet our dollar buys less and less every day. So let's now discuss some of the myths that are the opposition to minimum wage increase are saying, and let's see if they hold any validity. According to the United States Department of Labor, there are many false arguments brought up about the dangers of raising minimum wage. Some people state that a minimum wage increase will cause people to lose jobs. However, 64 studies were reviewed by the U.S. Department of Labor that included studies from seven Nobel Peace Prize winning economists that show a minimum wage increase will have no negative impact on job loss. Opponents of minimum wage increase also suggest it will only help teenagers. This is blatantly inaccurate as 88% of minimum wage earners are 20 years of age or above. It is also thought that increasing minimum wage would be bad for business. Well, it is unlikely due to, the det uh, to be detrimental to business, as studies show. Higher wages reduce turnover, and that can be beneficial to business, which we will go into depth a little later. There is an argument that increasing minimum wage will be bad for the economy. Well, in the 22 times minimum wage has been increased, the profits for the gross domestic product have continued to rise, despite this argument being used every time raising minimum wage is even brought up. 
Some sources call minimum wage a government interference that distorts the market. Feeling that if a lot of people are looking for work, wages will decrease. But in a consumer economy, but in a consumer economy, prosperity is brought on by people having more money to spend. If wages decrease, then spending decreases and wages drop. This creates a downward spiral effect that destroys the economy and proves that minimum wage is not there to distort the market. Okay. Now let's touch on how a minimum wage increase benefits the United States economy. According to several sources, increased minimum wage, a significant amount, would boost the economy substantially. Increasing the minimum wage would put more money back into the hands of consumers that will circulate it back into the economy. Increasing the spending of the lower class will increase business profits offsetting any loss due to higher wage output. Increasing the income of the lower class also decreases the amount of federal subsidy required to house and feed those who just cannot afford it. Raising the gross income level of the lower class will positively impact the wages of those in higher paying jobs. Skilled trades would have to keep up with the increase in overall pay by increasing their wages. Tax revenue from the increased wages across the board would increase dramatically. Increased tax revenue could fund much needed federal programs that benefit the people of this nation. Money could be spent on improving our nation's education to create a labor force that can fill high demand careers. Tax dollars could be used to repair our aging infrastructure. This nation needs roads and bridges rebuilt and repaired. Internet network boosts and mass transit expansion. The extra revenue could be spent to fund national health care system that would leave no one unable to seek medical attention due to a lack of insurance. Social Security would receive a boost and be able to help fund the retirement of our nation's elderly that are ready to relax and live out their golden years. Funding for programs like NASA whose research has led to great technological advancements in our nation could have funding restored to it. Increased tax revenue could also fund much needed social services that benefit the people of this nation. Police and fire departments could receive greater funding to employ more and create a safer living condition for the U.S. citizens. Minimum wage, wage increase would also lead to benefits to businesses. Wage increase would reduce worker turnover as employees would be more content with their lives when they are not struggling to make ends meet. This reduced turnover in, empl in employees decreases training costs for companies. Also, content workers are more productive than unhappy workers, resulting in increased profits. Raising minimum wage would also reduce unemployment. If wages were raised to a livable standard, employees would not be required to work multiple jobs to survive. This would open up other positions for people to fill. The increased production in consumer spending would require workers in the workforce creating more jobs. In conclusion, we have discussed the history and track record of how minimum wage has become disproportionate to current cost of living standards. We have covered and debunked some of the most popular arguments against raising minimum wage. My research shows that in the United States economy, the population as a whole, the employer, and the employee directly would benefit substantially from a generous minimum wage increase. Thank you for listening to my presentation.